this issue came up around doing different types of searches, right? So if we had a house, and you know, so we um had um. Uh, Kate and uh, Ron, whatever, and what they found important in a house. And supposing Kate wanted a fireplace in a certain city and wanted it to, to be, uh, you know, one floor. You know, so we've got all of these different criteria scrolling all over the place, right? And then you can look at... Uh, my screen is scrolling really slow. Okay, um, food and all these different food ingredients and then pizza, whatever. It could be anything where, you know, making a whole bunch of headers and trying to put X's in would get to be really cumbersome. So I've worked on this where I can deal with this kind of search by putting in whatever, wherever. So I imagine a pizza with four, up to four ingredients, and how can I figure out which one has, um, how many times has extra cheese been ordered along with garlic? And it says three, and I can go all and filter for those three. And I can even go to which one has neither of those. Okay, so let me clear this filter. So I just want to go over this array formula here that helps to you know, make this happen. This, this is the heart of how we get to do this kind of search uh, because we don't want to have four slicers you know, and then have to click ex extra cheese on all of the four slicers, and then you have 20 ingredients and 20 slicers, and then you have to click extra cheese 20 times. So the way this works, I set up these tick boxes so that it's easy to do. Um, and so what I want to do here is equal count if. I want to highlight this entire range and compare that against the list that's being created over here. And I'm starting an array function of an array formula and it's not going to work this way because I'm doing this on multiple cells. So I have to do something to bring this down to one result. So I have to do a sum and then the control shift enter. And now there is my two. So what's happening is these tick boxes will cause the item to show up over here creating this list and then we're counting you know does I uh, so we've got two clicked here and will those same two show up somewhere in these rows um, but you know I've, I've pimped it out a little further so that it would show all not all so that I could have more information available to me to do the analysis but that is the array formula that um, you know makes this possible and the thing that tipped me off that I needed an array formula was I'm comparing two arrays and I need to condense them down to one value and say okay I am in array formula territory so Okay, that is what I have, and uh, I want to give that, say, three sriracha's, because not everybody's going to need that. Not everybody's going to need to do that. Um, it's more the thought process that I had to go 
go through because usually um, we don't do searches like that. You know, and that was um, yeah. a challenge because I didn't even know how to look look up, you know, what type of searches that that I'm trying to do. You know, so there you go, three for Rochester. 